Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a long time since I've just sat down, done my makeup and had a chat to you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do today and I'm gonna do my quick makeup routine. I feel like this is the kind of makeup that whenever I post to Instagram, a lot of you guys ask for so like my, the mascara that I use, my eyeliner, like all of the basics. And I just haven't updated you guys on what I've been using for a long time, especially when it comes to like quick makeup routines. So first of all, cleanse my face and all that. Got my earrings and my jewelry apart from my rings on because I'm gonna be doing like face stuff. But just for this video and presentation wise, I have my jewelry on. First of all, I'm gonna start with moisturizer. I've been using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream for a long time now. It's been months and months. This is my third pot and I just take quite a generous amount and spread it evenly all over my face and I really, what am I saying? I really, really like this moisturiser because it's really moisturising but it's not heavy. When I first used this moisturiser like ever, ever, I thought it was too greasy for me and that was because my skin was a little bit more young and a little bit more oilier but now my skin isn't like that anymore my skin is more combination so it's still oily but it's also dry in some areas as well so yeah just a very generous amount of facial cream on my face and then I'm going to be using quite a few new products um, in this video um, ones that I've been using on and off, but I haven't really showed you guys. So the first one is by Terry. This is the CC Serum Brightening, uh, Brightening One. Let's give that a good shake in there. And I'm going to apply it as a primer. So I'm just going to apply two generous drops like that. And... Just apply it all over the face. It smells amazing. Oh, it just smells like roses and it feels, feels, it smells really luxurious. I haven't had coffee today and it is now quarter past three. So I'm in that situation where I'm like, do I have coffee? Because I feel like I need it. I'm a little bit cranky. Um, but then do I actually need it? Because if I have it, will I be able to sleep tonight? You know, I want a good night's sleep. I haven't been sleeping well for the past few nights. Oh, my pillow has been giving me a neck ache. So yesterday, I went out and bought a pillow. Actually, the one thing that I forgot to do is apply some lip balm first. I always apply lip balm right after my moisturizer so that by the time I apply lip products, it's nice and soft. I'm just using the uh, Lana lips um, and then for my base when I want it to be quick and easy um, I use this one this one is usually too dark for me but last night I fake tanned so now it should be perfect this is the matte CC cream by its cosmetics and I have it in a shade medium tan and I like how it's got a pump so what I do is take one two pumps on my fingertips Oops. if you watch my last vlog then you'll know that I've like got a table here now it feels so good to have a table to like lay all my products out and get ready with you guys as I would actually get ready instead of like sitting on the floor or like making makeshift um, little tables so, I apply that all over just at, like I would a moisturiser. This is really quick and easy and I like to do this when I have a good skin day which is today. Don't have any spots. I have a few um, pigmentation spots from my last breakout but it's not like anything major. So I'm just going to take um, another pump and then what I do with this is I pass it on the areas that I need it 
so I don't go in and just like put it all over my face again I just go in to the areas that need extra coverage so like so and then just using my fingers just like blend it in next I'm gonna go in with concealer and my Real Technique sponge um, just quickly by the way the It Cosmetics CC cream I find that it does just a little bit um, oxidize so when I put it on it was quite light and after a couple of minutes it does get a little bit darker and for my concealer I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible is it infallible or infallible uh, more than concealer it's the really chubby one this is an amazing amazing concealer um, especially for drugstores while well, it's 10 pounds and it conceals everything it conceals my entire life and then I just blend it in Honestly guys, I'm so happy that I actually have somewhere to sit down and get ready. And I have a mirror in front of me, so I'm not like um, trying to dodge because before I was used to film my videos like this and then I would have a mirror down here. So I would be one hand holding the mirror and then one hand blending, but trying not to get um, the mirror like here so that it kind of blocks the camera. So when I'm in a rush, I don't bother with cream contouring. I just go in with a powder afterwards. But to set my makeup, I'm using Shoe Mirror setting powder with a brush, just a little bit, not too matte because the um, It Cosmetics is quite matte anyway. So it's more to set the concealer, make sure it doesn't move around instead of like trying to make my face look matte but for my bronzer I'm going to use the Hoola light one I like Hoola and the light one I use both but just for everyday I've kind of used the light more and I'm going to use it to contour my face but I'm not going to do it in a traditional way as in like contouring the cheekbones like that I'm just going to contour the sides of my face like this so I feel like that gives a much more slimming effect on my face shape so for my blusher I'm going to use this palette it's the Anastasia pink passion palette and I'm going to use the bright pink and the top more kind of like a mauve pink and just blend those together and then normally where I would contour and put a contour colour I'm going to put blush instead this just gives me like a healthy radiant look highlighter I'm going to use Becca's Moonstone this is a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter it's good for every single day because it's like a subtle highlighter it's not a blinding one and it's just so pretty I actually love it it's a perfect like champagne gold color Ooh, don't know why I'm so burpy today. Um, so for my eyebrows, benefit precisely my brow. Um, let me just find the spoonie. These few nights I've been sleeping so early. I'm not sure what's wrong with me. Like as soon as it hits nine o'clock, I feel like my body tells me it's ready for bed. And for the past two nights, I've missed Love Island. Are any of you guys watching it? I feel like I've watched Love Island for so many years that 
I feel like it's not the same anymore. I like it when before people that went in were just like normal people. Now I feel like everyone who goes into Love Island just wants to get like popular. It's not really about finding love anymore, is it? Or is it? Don't know, what's your opinions? Just used Precisely Brow in number three. When I'm doing like a natural everyday makeup, I don't really fill them in so that they're perfect. I don't mind if they're a little bit like uneven or if they're not kind of like snatched. Normally I would go, up, go in with um, concealer and you know really ship and carve out the eyebrow to make it perfect but on days like this I just leave it as it is, I just fill it in as best as I can and then just leave it. I don't make it too perfect looking because when I don't have much eye makeup on it can look a bit fake. So next up, um, I'm not going to wear any eyeshadow because I normally don't when I, you know, having a casual day. Go back in with my Hoola light bronzer and then just apply that as an eyeshadow but not really it's more like just to you know give a little bit of contour to the eyes and give it a little bit more definition i'm using my all-time favorite mascara it's a super waterproof one and it's a japanese brand i'll link it down below but if you've been following me for a while you probably know which one i'm talking about because i use it all the time I do go in and out of phases of using it though. Sometimes I use other brands and then when I finish another brand's mascara, I always come back to this one if I have one sitting in my um, kind of like backup makeup. I have like a full drawer of like backup makeup. So whenever I run out, I always just like go into there and see what I have. And I usually have always always I usually have like two or three of these in there you have like short wispy eyelashes like me and you find it hard to keep them curled try this mascara it literally keeps the curl so well and I like to call this mascara hairspray for my eyelashes look let me zoom you guys in I'm not sure if you can yeah you can definitely see that can you see how defined my eyes look and um, the eyelashes look exactly the same as when I um, curled my eyelashes. It doesn't drop at all and it stays like that all day long. Now that I have my mascara on, I'm going to take Benefit's Roller Liner, which is the eyeliner that I've been using for like the past month or so. I'm just going to tight light my eyes. I'm not going to draw any eyeliner flicks or anything, just tight lining at the waterline. This is just gonna make my eyes look a little bit bigger, more awake, and make my eyelashes appear a little bit thicker as well. For a second cut, I'm gonna go in with Benefit's Bad Girl Bang. This is gonna give me more volume, and I'm gonna focus it at the roots. But because I've already got that Japanese eye mascara on, that um, literally is hairspray for your eyelashes. My eyelashes won't droop. Next up, I'm going to go in with my final step, which is um, lip colour. I'm using this one called NYX, and it's called Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the colour Manila. It's like a bright, corally pink colour. Just use my fingers to smudge it out because it gives a more natural look and it's quite because uh, it's metallic it gives a nice glowy finish to the lips and I like to add a little bit more color to my lips when I don't have much eye makeup on and that's the end of my makeup routine literally like MAC 
Fix Plus the matte one. And that is it. It is quite simple and if I'm not talking to the camera and you know trying to explain this and that I can probably do this whole face in less than 10 minutes. So yeah. So that comes to the end of my quick routine. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more makeup videos, please let me know and I shall film more for you. I'm not sure why I just spoke like that. Um, yeah, so hope you liked it and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.